I am people of the internet. Art. I make it. I don't love it, <laughs> but I've made a lot of it. And so I have a lot of drawings that are really bad. <laughs> And I decided I would go through some drawings that I felt I could improve upon or just have fun with and repaint them. Now, first up, we're going to be doing something that I actually drew on stream. I remember doing the sketch uh, about 30 minutes before the stream started, and then I remember uh, not finishing it. Instead, I stopped before I shaded the clothes and just left it like that. So I guess I'm finishing it, not repainting it. Anyways, let's get to the painting. I started this by wanting to fix the lips and skin. I needed to make this character more alive and I also wanted to modernize the style because I don't really draw like I used to because this is a drawing I did on stream actually. I streamed drawing it and I never finished it. I never finished shading the her clothes. Here I get started with the eyes. I wanted to make the eyes a lot more alive. Recently, I really like adding like the teardrop or what you have at the end of the eyes, the pink bit in the eyes. I don't know why, but I really like adding it and little spikes like that too. But I don't think I use that for this drawing. I got inspired from the artist Savi Chan, does that a lot, and I love her art. Kept up with the eyes. I have a lot of footage from the eyes because I enjoyed the process of working on them. And also fixing the eyebrows. I just wanted to make this character feel alive. Even one eye is a little lower than the other and that's slightly annoying me watching the recording back now. Here I'm going in for the hair. I tried to make it like a lot more natural I suppose. I liked painting the shape of the hair first. <laughs> Here I'm going in with basic shading for the hair. Um, I use a very different shading method compared to what I used when I first drew this piece and I think that really shows. I believe no the eyes the eyes is something that I'm proud of I've started doing eyes and I know I notoriously complain about them in my other art videos that I'm not doing the eyes correctly but I'm actually happy with these like how I do them now and it's not perfect nothing is but I'm happy with my progress I never like uh, keeping the eye white white. I always leave it like a slight tan color now because I think it's so much nicer to like have a little highlights in the eye white of just pure white when you have like a yellow. <laughs> Try saying that 10 times. Oh, that her face, she looks so much more alive this time around. And like her smile looks real. It looks more like an actual person. <laughs> Oh yeah, here comes the in-depth shading with another brush. I wanted to make it darker. Recently I love pushing like the darks that I do in my art and I think I pushed it a little too much in the hair um, around this drawing but it still, it still looks good. I still like it because I think I did another layer after, I did another layer after this with even darker dark. There we go. I made a new brush where it's just a flat color brush and it's been one of my favorites to work with because it has no opacity it just puts color down and it doesn't blend at all but it's really useful for like covering stuff up and like erasing things here i'm just gonna shade i've gotten a lot better at shading like fabric and cloth like, that's one thing that's hard to do for me, but I think I've gotten a lot better at it every time I use, like, a softer brush. Uh, 
Uh, we're going straight to highlights and the clothes are finished. And this piece is finished. I'm adding a few highlights, a few lot of details, airbrushing on some few things, and we'll call it done. So here's the finished product. I'll show you all the drawings side by side at the very end. Now let's get started with the next one. I did two of this video. That's a 200% increase. I remember when drawing this piece, I just wanted to make a really fancy lady in a very fancy dress. That was the whole uh, concept. I really disliked the face. This is an edited version of the original drawing. Her face was like really low and looked awful. Her lips are just not juicy, it doesn't, it's not juicy enough. There needs to be more juice. One thing I wanted to remake completely was the hair and the face. I wanted the hair to be more flowy and the face to just look a lot better. I spent a lot of time on the lips because I was struggling to get them to look right. I noticed recently in my drawings I started drawing a lot like lips a lot more often instead of just normal faces. I've started to veer into more realistic proportions which I'm not sure how to feel about that. happened. I skipped forward and I wanted to make the necklace just so much more ornate and fancy. I was thinking about adding a boob window because it's just nothing like in the middle like a chest area. I hate it. It just doesn't look proportional. I don't really like it but I ended up deciding against it. Here I used my whack brush, the patent, um, which isn't even mine to begin with but <laughs> I never do noses like this, but it just kind of happened and I really enjoyed it. The eyes, I remember struggling with this on this piece. Like, the whole face was a struggle. And it took me quite a while to get to a state where I was happy with it. I ended up shrinking the entire head. Because, look at Megamind over here. <laughs> When painting over all that, I really try and improve it, and I just enjoy like the process of painting. I like just not having to worry about line art or layers, just being able to casually just add things and take them away and try and make something out of it. It's just really relaxing to me. Because in the original, she had the green and red around her eyes, and I tried to keep that as close as possible, because I very much enjoyed the eyeliner. I don't know makeup terms. Mm -mm. The new drawing, she looks a lot younger. The new drawing came out a lot younger than she looks in the original one, and I honestly don't like that. I wish she looked the same age, not like she was 15 again. Like, it's a glow up girl, but like, come on. <laughs> Makeup doesn't solve everything. I think her face is way too petite for her body. And that's something I could have paid more attention to. But while finishing up this drawing, I was exhausted. Don't know if you get that, I get physically tired of drawing.
Uh, the green belt that was on her was a continuation of a flower pattern, which I really liked from the original. But I decided to axe it in the last second because it just didn't feel right to me. Here I'm repainting the hands, but to be honest, I just kind of did them freeformed. I didn't much look at the anatomy, I just kind of drew them to make them slightly better. I am still working on hands, I'm not very good at drawing hands. And I'm going to reshade the necklace. I love shading shiny things. It's so nice just to shade shiny things and not using the add glow layer because it's just really fun to me. Because your darks are only as dark as your lights, uh, which is a principle I've taken to heart recently. So I try to include really a lot of dark spots so I can include a lot of shiny spots in my hair. extending the rose pattern which I didn't end up align arting and I decided no one would notice. Here I tried to do like a flowy skirt pattern and I think it came out quite good for being sloppily painted. <laughs> um, this drawing took a lot of energy out of me. Uh, here I did some. Mm, she looks a bit bottom heavy now that I think about it, but oh well. So yeah, this is a different style video to what I normally do, but recently I've been finding it really fun to repaint my old art and just go through it again during my old art because it always makes me feel like I've improved a lot or like remaking old things that I've drawn. And recently I've gotten into painting a lot too so I thought why don't I try and repaint my old art and yeah I hope you all enjoyed this little silly art, art video. So tell me what you think of my drawings down below. That sounds so goofy, like, oh, tell me what you think down below. No, just comment. Just comment. I need this interaction. Just comment. Why won't you comment?